Hello, welcome to lesson 19, exercise one, mastering Java. Here we're going to read keyboard input using the scanner method that we've used in the past. We're gonna read a string in from the keyboard. Then we're going to convert the string to uppercase and then print that back out to the screen. It's mostly an exercise to get you to practice reading a string in from the keyboard. So uh, as we have always done with the scanner method, we need to import uh, java.util.scanner. And then inside of our main method, we will create a string. This is going to hold the keyboard input after we read it in. Uh, and then we need to create the scanner object in order to actually read in from the keyboard. So it's of type scanner. We're naming it input. And it's a new scanner object. And we're reading in from the keyboard. So that's all part of constructing the object that we're calling input, which is of, of type scanner. Then we'll print a message to the screen. It'll say enter a text string. And then, this is where the magic happens, str, which is the string that we created to hold the input, will be equal to input, which is the scanner input, dot next line. That is where Java is going to go and use the method associated with scanner to read an, an entire line from the keyboard as a string. That string will then be assigned to my string that I have there. Next, I will take that string and access the method associated with it to, transfer, to convert it to uppercase and store the result back in str. So I'm kind of overriding what I re read in to begin with. And then I'll simply print it out to the screen with a, with a line break. So I should see an uppercase and a lowercase version. So let me go ahead and hit run. It'll say enter a text string and say, I can say I love tacos, which is actually true. And then I hit enter. And then of course I see I love tacos all capitalized. I can run this guy again. I can put anything I want, lowercase, and then hit enter, and I'm going to get everything back uppercase. Of course, the semicolons are already, there's no real uppercase or lowercase to that, so that stays the same. So what's happening is I read it in. Uh, that's the most important thing about this exercise is to learn how to read something in with the scanner. Once you get it in with the next line method and store it into the string, then you can do anything you want with it. You can print it out, manipulate it, use the string methods. You can read the characters. You can do comparisons. You can do whatever you want. This is just enabling you to get information from the keyboard in terms of a string. In this case, I'm converting it to uppercase, overwriting the string, printing it out. So make sure you understand this. I hope that you've enjoyed these lessons in Mastering Java with strings and arrays, and we'll be doing more lessons in the future, getting to more advanced topics. But everything we've learned here is very, very important to build your skills, build your knowledge, build your confidence in Java.